Hello friends. Today, I will show you how to extract hex code from ESP32 or ESP8266. In this tutorial, I will be using the ESP32 development module, but the steps are the same for any other ESP32 or ESP8266 device. Currently, I have uploaded a simple blink sketch onto this ESP32. It blinks the built-in LED at 500 milliseconds interval. My goal is to extract this code from this ESP32 and then upload it to another ESP32 module. This process will enable you to clone any ESP device, making it easier to duplicate functionality across multiple devices. First, ensure that you have the Arduino IDE installed on your computer. Additionally, Make sure to add support for ESP32 in the Arduino IDE. It doesn't matter which version you have installed. Now, go to the Tools menu and select the ESP32 board. There are various boards available. Simply choose any of them randomly. For this demonstration, I will be using the ESP32 development module. Next, you need to enable the verbose output from the preferences. So, open the preferences window in the Arduino IDE and select the show verbose output during compilation and upload. This setting is required for the upcoming steps. Now click on upload button. But remember, you don't need to connect the ESP32 to the computer. Since the board is not connected, so the error message will be displayed. However, there's no need to worry about the error at this stage. We just need this last white line. So just select all data in this line, then copy it by pressing Ctrl plus C. Now, open the notepad and paste the copied data here. First, I will delete some unnecessary data that is not required. Now look at this file esptool.exe file. This file is required to extract the hex code from the ESP32. And here is the path where the esptool.exe file is stored on your computer. To access the file, you just copy this selected path and paste it into the address bar of the Windows File Explorer. Then, press Enter to navigate to the file location. As you can see, our file is available here. Next, Make a copy of the esptool.exe file and then paste it in a convenient location. For example, you can paste it inside the D drive. Please ensure that you do not use the drive where Windows is installed. Since my Windows drive is the C drive, so I will keep this file in the D drive. Now we have the file. Next step is to test this file. To do this, open the command prompt. It will be used to execute the necessary commands for extracting the hex file from the ESP32. Here, navigate to the D drive where we have stored the esptool.exe file. Now enter the following command esptool.exe space version and then press enter to execute the command. As you can see, the version is displayed. It means the ESP tool is working fine. Now let's move back to the notepad. Here, first delete the path, as we no longer need it. Before extracting the hex file, you need the exact size of the flash memory of the ESP32. If you try to copy the entire contents without knowing the size, you might miss some data. Therefore, it is important to determine the flash size accurately. And there is a simple method to read the size of the flash memory. First, select this command. You do not need the full command. Just copy the command until baud rate and then duplicate it. Here, I will delete the chip type as the ESP tool will automatically detect it. Next, enter the COM port of your ESP32 module. If you are unsure about the COM port, then you can check it from the Arduino IDE. From here, you can find the COM port to which your ESP32 is connected. Make sure, enter the same COM port in the notepad. Now, enter the flash ID command at the end of the line. 
This command will display the exact size of the flash memory in ESP32. Now copy this updated command and paste it into the command prompt. Press enter to execute the command. As you can see, it automatically detects the chip type, which is ESP32. And below, you can see the flash memory size, which is 4 MB. Now we have the flash memory size. You just remember it, as it will be used in the next step. Now, we are ready to read the content of the flash memory. To do this, you just duplicate this command again. But this time, delete the flash ID part. And then enter the read flash command. This command will be used to read the flash memory. Next, enter the starting address of the flash memory, which is 0. For the ending address of the flash memory, you should enter 0x, and then 4, followed by 5 zeros. This is a hexadecimal address. To calculate this address, you need to do a little math. First, let's start with the flash memory size, which is 4 megabytes. Now, we will convert this value into bytes. To do this, first enter the size of flash memory, which is 4. Then, multiply it by 1024 twice. This formula will convert the megabytes into bytes. Now, we have the number of bytes. Next, we will convert these bytes into hexadecimal format. To do this, just copy calculated bytes, then paste them into the search bar of the Google, and then enter to hex. Now press enter key to get the hexadecimal value. Here you can see the hexadecimal value. It represents the ending address for the 4 megabytes flash memory. The same way, you can calculate the address for flash memory devices with different sizes, such as 8 megabytes or 16 megabytes. After calculating the address, make sure to enter the resulting address in the notepad. Next step is to specify the file name where the extracted data will be stored. You can choose any suitable and descriptive file name for easy identification. Make sure the file name ends with bin extension. This file will hold the extracted hex code from the ESP32's flash memory. Now the command is ready. So open the command prompt. And then, paste the command here. Now press enter to start the hex code extraction process. When you see the connecting message, then press and hold the boot button of the ESP32 until the reading process starts. As you can see, the reading process is started. You just wait for it to finish. Now the reading process is complete. Let's look at the file. So navigate to the D drive. Here you can see our required file. You can verify its size. As you can see the size of this file is 4 megabytes. It means we have read the entire flash memory inside this file. It represents the blink sketch that blinked the LED at the interval of 500 milliseconds. Now, let's upload it onto another ESP32 module. First, connect the other ESP32 module to the computer. Currently, the built-in LED of the ESP32 is off. It indicates there is no any blink code inside its flash memory. So, let's upload the blink code using the bin file. This time you will need the full command. So just duplicate this command. Here, first enter the COM port of the newly connected ESP32. You can find the COM port from the Arduino IDE. Next, at the end of the command, enter the starting address of the flash memory, which is 0x0. Finally, enter the path and name of our bin file that we have extracted earlier. You just copy the name of the file from the D drive. And then, paste it at the end of the command in the notepad. Now the command is ready. Let's execute it from the command prompt. When you see the connecting message, then press and hold the boot button of the ESP32 until the writing process starts. As you can see, the writing process is started. You just wait for it to finish. Now the bin file is uploaded, if you look at the ESP32, 
you can see the LED start blinking after every 500 milliseconds. This way you can create an exact copy of any code stored in an ESP32 or ESP8266. It saves your valuable time and effort in programming. That's all for today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. See you in another video. Bye.